most diverse place I've ever seen in New York City. Don't take a picture of me, not yet. Later when I'm dancing. Hello. Going off right. Eleni, you should talk, go. Don't How are you doing? Don't oh, forget my name. My name is Eleni. Elena from Cyprus. <laughs> Cyprus. <laughs> are about to have a feast in one of our favorite or I'll say well, favorite restaurant. Well, check this out. <laughs> a lot of people ask us what's your favorite restaurant in New York City? It's such a hard answer to give. This is the one place we will tell them. If yeah, the outside of the spot, you, you may not know what really is in store. You can smell the aroma from down the block, but it's a very nondescript spot on the corner. Ooh, we're just gonna show you. We're gonna walk right in and show you what the spot is all about. Let's do it. The smell is amazing. background of the spot story seafood we've been coming here for like five years now three years of that five we've been coming every week that's how much we love this place yeah their primary business they sell seafood to restaurants first wholesale so that's the beauty of it you get really fresh seafood here whatever they don't sell they leave here on the ice you pick it out with a plastic bag you pick out exactly what you want if you want two scallops you can buy two scallops you, want, you could do exactly which one we love it you get exactly how fresh the fish that's what makes this different from a regular restaurant regular restaurant you have no idea what they're serving you ideally it's fresh but you don't know uh. yeah we're addicted to this place so it's run by Greeks so as you know I'm half Greek and it reminds me of a lot of places in Greece where the fish is out on the ice you pick it out yourself but this place is like a party it is chaotic it's also chaotic so this place is chaotic it's a party but that's part of the charm also to get you a better better idea this is where Greg always celebrates his birthday yes we brought so many people yeah I'm gonna get into that but <laughs> we brought so many people here over the years they all love it so we're excited to bring you along with us so here's a little guide for what you got to do you got to go inside go straight to the back pick out your plastic bags and you pick out the fish from the ice exactly how you want it if you come with a few people have them wait online for you it's gonna save you some hassle you have to go in line you pay for your food and you tell Eleni your name and your party once you have your fish up at the counter you tell them exactly how you want it you want it grilled you want it fried you want it baked and they do all the cleaning for you. It's beautiful. So they, they gut it, they clean it. And you can come here and you don't even have to eat inside. You can come here, buy your own fish. You can come here, get your, buy your own fish, have them cook it for you, and then get it to go or however you want to prefer it. And also what's amazing about this place is the most diverse place I've ever seen in New York City. Oh. Not only all different nationalities, you have so many different languages spoken and you have people in suits, you have construction workers, all walks of life here. It's pretty incredible. And, and we used to come every week, we used to make friends with some of the people here. Over time we made friends, we made... We made we've shared food with strangers, it's just that fun. Yeah, and we've also seen some people who own food trucks and carts that we really like come and eat here. So people who really like food, they come here. Those in the know. So. Over the last five years, been here what? How many times? Over a hundred. Yeah. So today is also a special day to eat at Astoria Seafood because I've got family here to eat with us. Finally got a table. Oh yeah. And we got the biggest one in the house. Beautiful thing about this spot too, it's B-Y-O-B. -B. So we brought our own wine. Thank you. We're not 
not just getting seafood tonight, we also have beets. So beets, especially when done the Greek way, are delicious with olive oil and vinegar, garlic. The only thing that's missing is the square de ya for all my fellow Greeks, the garlic dip. I always love to get the beets whenever they have them. Nobody else at this table likes them. I'm gonna eat them myself. I've already eaten half the plate. I'm just gonna take it all down. Look at that. It's soaking olive oil. It's got this minced garlic everywhere. Mm. Oh, I love this. They're so soft. They don't have that tree flavor. You know, Jumi might think they do, but oh, it's so good. It's sweet. It's got that garlic bite. Oh, I could really eat this all day long. You gotta balance out with the healthy stuff, right? And we also got the Greek salad. Here's awesome. They're making it fresh to order up there. We always gotta start with it. So, the Greek salad here is not the traditional horiatiki. That's a tomato, cucumber, feta. But we got some greens and peppers to go with it, too. Whenever you come here, you gotta get the Greek salad. Greek spot, you gotta have all the lemon, right? They have like a limited lemon here. They have the lemon, but squeeze on the calamari. Calamari here, the calamari here. Let's take a bite, look at that. We always make sure to get extra legs. That's the beauty of this spot. You can actually pick out how many legs you want if they're there, so that's what we did. So with the ring, the legs, let's go. Mm. Mm. It's only fried with some flour on there. It doesn't have the batter on it. The calamari itself is tender. Light chew, only chew that you need. Oh, it's perfect, it's so fresh. Oh, the calamari is a must here every single time. Fried only. What do we have here? We got garlic bread. They're just slinging this garlic bread around for free. All they put in it is olive oil and minced garlic. That's it, no butter. The real Greek way, olive oil style. What Greek seafood meal will be complete without octopus? You can't not order octopus. You go to a Greek seafood spot, so you got it. Smells good. Mm. Mm. It's so soft. It's buttery soft, but they only put a little olive oil and vinegar mixture there. They already pre-cook it, so it's already boiled when you get it. You gotta get it from behind the counter with the octopus. Behind the counter, it's boiled already, and they throw it in the grill. It's so soft and tender and fresh. Oh, this does justice to the Greek octopus for sure. So our feast continues here. We order pretty much everything that you should be ordering here. So what we got. We boiled out a little bit. It's the most expensive thing they got is the jumbo head-on prawns. Oh, they're so good. We don't get them that often, but it's a special night. We got them. Good. And we also got the grilled salmon. They sear it so perfectly. You got the grill marks on it. Oh, it's so good. And then we also got the grilled scallops. Arguably the best thing in the restaurant. Oh, but you know, it's not even really a restaurant, but it is. Oh, so good. Oh yeah. Oh baby. You know, scallops, they're not always easy to cook. So, let's take a bite and tell you all about it. Oh, my God. oh man, the scallops here are perfection. They're tender, got that slight bit of chew to them, but they're super tender, so fresh. They're not playing around with these scallops. Always order them when you come to Story Seafood. If not, you made a massive mistake. Unless you're allergic to scallops. And if so, I feel sorry for you. Okay, thank you very much, guys. What we do, we order the whole fish here. You always gotta get a whole fish. You gotta get everything, right? We need to look for the freshest fish possible. And when we do, we always wanna get the Branzino. Branzino is one of our favorite fish here. And then we also got the red snapper, whole grilled. They do it perfectly here. Just olive oil, garlic, no butter. They do it light, Mediterranean style. Let's dig in. Everything else, salmon's been getting, not getting enough love right now. I'm gonna give it some love. Look at it, look how perfectly grilled it is, those grilled marks. It's like a big, big bite. Mm. Mm. Wow. They do salmon so well here. 
don't sleep on it. It's got that that good oily salmon flavor. It's grilled perfectly, tender. Got the nice sear on the outside. Mm, don't miss it. Excellent. Dining with Filipinos. They ain't scared of getting down and dirty with the fish. Shout out to the Filipino subscribers and viewers out there. You know the truth. You know very well. There's going to be minimal meat. Not even minimal. I mean no meat left behind on these bones. You will see shortly. For dessert, we have baklava. Let's have a bite. You know me, you know I can tell the baklava I'm happy with. You already know. I love baklava so much. Let's take a bite. Now this baklava is not too sweet. It's got the walnuts, which is good, but it's not too sweet. I love this. It's like it doesn't overwhelm. Sometimes it can be really like it can hurt your throat kind of sweet. Not this one. Oh, it's excellent. You gotta get the baklava when you come here. You can't end a meal without it. Mm. Okay, so that's it for the best restaurant seafood place in New York City. Oh yeah, no, this place is an experience, it's not just an amazing food, it's an amazing time. Come here, come with your patience, come with some booze, come with an appetite. Just be open-minded, this is a real New York experience with a touch of Greece as well, dude. To all my Greeks out there, try to say something in Greek, terrible Greek. Uh, Ella. <laughs> Thank you. Tikarete, Ella. But uh, yeah, this place is amazing, please come through. Enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell. You want to be the first to comment, right? Yes. Thanks for watching. Peace. If God is still. If God is still. But you know Salt Bay, right? I did a little little dribble on the arm, right? I'm Lemon Bay. Check it out. I love it all in my arm.